In the dark and misty forest of Europe, a creature lurks, a being both human and animal, capable of transforming under the light of the full moon. This creature is the werewolf, a figure of myth and legend that has fascinated us for centuries. The belief in the werewolf can be tracked back to ancient Greece, where it was believed that Zeus, the king of the gods, turned King Lycon into a wolf as punishment for serving him human flesh. This is where the term lycanthrope comes from. It means wolfman in Greek. <coughs> in Eastern Europe, country, countries like Romania, werewolves are said to be people who have been cursed or bitten by other werewolves. They transform into wolves during the full moon and hunt in the forest. According to a legend, a werewolf can only be killed by a silver bullet. Werewolf mythology has inspired countless works of literature and art, as well as numerous films. One of the earliest werewolf films is the classic 1935 Werewolf of London, which starred Henry Hull as <coughs> a botanist who becomes a werewolf after being bitten by a plant-based creature. However, it was in the 1980s where werewolf films had their greatest impact on cinema. Films like An American Werewolf in London, 1981, The Howling, 1981, and Silver Bullet, 1985, <coughs> all brought werewolves to life in ways never seen before on the big screen, using special effects to create terrifying and realistic transformations. These films captured the imagination of audiences around the world and established the werewolf as one of the most enduring figures in horror fiction. <coughs> Perhaps... Sorry... But perhaps the most underrated werewolf film of all time is Dog Soldiers, a 2002 British horror film that follows a group of soldiers on a training mission in the Scottish Highlands who become trapped in a remote cabin and are hunted by a pack of werewolves. The film combines the gritty realism of a military action movie with the supernatural terror of a werewolf genre, creating a unique and unforgettable experience. According to legend, the curse of the werewolf is spread through the bloodline a person who is bitten by a werewolf, werewolf will become a werewolf themselves and so the curse continues through the generations the only way to cur to break the curse is to kill the original werewolf who started the bloodline in some stories the curse of the werewolf can also be passed down through families with the ability to transform into a wolf being an inherent trait an inherent trait <coughs> in these stories the curse can be triggered by a traumatic event or by the full moon. The werewolf has had a profound impact on human mythology and culture, inspiring countless works of art and literature from the ancient tales of Greece to the folklore of Eastern Europe. The werewolf, werewolf has been a constant presence in human culture. In cinema, the werewolf, werewolf has brought to life in... <coughs> sorry. In cinema, the werewolf has been brought to life in ways never before seen, terrifying and thrilling audiences with uh, gruesome transformation and ferocious attacks. Whether you see them as a monster to be feared or a symbol of our own primal nature, the werewolf remains one of the most enduring, captivating figures in human mythology and cinema. And it's not written here, but a, there was a belief that if somebody was born on Christmas Day, they would become a werewolf. Um, another thing that hasn't written is that <clears throat> a way to spot a werewolf is if they have like a, a mono brow, you know, eye, one eyebrow that covers both eyes. But anyway, it doesn't matter, it's some minor things. Uh, I had a coughing fit before I made this video as well, so I'm still getting over it. Maybe I should have waited, but anyway, I've, I've done it now, so whatever. Hopefully, uh, this has been an interesting video. If you, if you liked it, uh, let me know in the comment section anyway. And if you think it deserves a thumbs up, then, you know, you can give it a thumbs up, can't you? And if you're not subscribed, then please, you know, consider subscribing. But other than that, I, if you've watched it this far, I hope you got something out of it. And, you know, thanks for watching and bye for now. Bye.